Any better chance in this uh, penalty phase than you did in the trial just concluded? Well, again, we're, we're very, very hopeful that the jury would return a verdict of life. Death certainly wouldn't be appropriate. Paul, well, what did the defendants say uh, during a de the... A defense will be presented at penalty, yes. Paul, what did the uh, defendants say while uh, the verdicts were being read? They were discussing it with some of the attorneys. The defendants uh, actually anticipated the verdict. They expected the worst. They expected the worst from the beginning. They thought that the verdict was predetermined from the start of the trial, as many of you gentlemen well know. Did you, Paul, do you think these verdicts can be sustained uh, when the appeals go to the higher courts? Do you see grounds for reversal? Well, certainly we feel that uh, the, the overriding, overwhelming issue on appeal is going to be the nature of the prejudicial pretrial publicity and the fact that a change of venue was denied prior to trial. Mr. Bugliosi, uh, the defense says that they were stymied from the start because they wanted to change the venue and didn't get it, and that the jury was hostile toward them. That they, in fact, they were a hanging jury when they went in. I don't, I don't believe that. This jury is 12 people chosen from this community. They based their verdict solely and exclusively on the evidence that came from that witness stand. They were not influenced in any fashion whatsoever from any pretrial publicity. This is just weeping on the part of the defense. Are you going You know what? The prosecution has spent eight months presenting one side. Uh, the, pre the press has been the mouthpiece of the prosecution, and they've succeeded in brainwashing a lot of people into believing everything that Bugliosi has presented, his uh, so-called race war theory. Charlie never preached a race war. He's seen that the people that have been on the bottom, it's time for them to come to the top. You know, the revolution's on. Uh, eight months of one side, the public has heard, and nothing else. They've thrown the Constitution in the wastebasket. These people have not had a fair trial. From the very onset of this trial, from the very beginning, there has not been one single right, constitutional right, granted to these people. They haven't even been allowed to put on a defense. Were you surprised nobody, by the has been, nobody has been allowed to testify. The verdict doesn't make any difference. It's what they have done to Manson. It's what they are now doing to a lot of people in jail. And it's going to be done to you people next. Get down. Holy phase. Well, the penalty phase, as you know, is going to begin on Thursday. and. We would hope that uh, while the jury has convicted these defendants beyond any reasonable doubt, they may have some lingering doubt about whether or not they're guilty. They might also take into consideration the defendants' backgrounds and history and may return a proper you think verdict of life. Yell to the judge uh, after the jurors went out. Something to the effect that it took place at about the time that the jury was being polled, and I think he indicated, I think he said that I think they're all guilty, referring to the jury. What did he say, Paul? He, he said something to, in, in the direction of the jury that they're all guilty, but the, apparently uh, meaning the jury. The girls were prepared for what they heard here, there this morning. Oh, yes. The girls were acclimated to uh, the guilty verdict on all counts. Well, how does it shape up for the appeals process now? Will it be a long and lengthy uh, procedure, as everyone well, suspects? Well, under California law, Mr. Miller, in the event the defendants are assessed a death penalty, there is an appeal that's automatically taken to the California Supreme Court. In the event that the jury returns one or more verdicts of life, of course, uh, an appeal will follow in the normal procedure, and a notice of appeal will be filed approximately 10 days after the determination. Well, we will stick with it, Paul. Yes, we'll stick with penalty, and I, I, I want to stick with it through appeal. Are you going to present a defense during penalty? Yes, we are going to pre present uh, what could be considered a defense. Can you give us some idea of what that might be? Uh, no, I can't, not at this time. Will the defendants testify in the penalty? That's problematical at this point. Uh, the defendants may testify at penalty. That's yet to be decided. Did the Van Houten verdict surprise you? Very much so. I think that uh, the big surprise uh, expressed at the council table was the Van Houten verdict and the verdict on the conspiracy counts. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome, John.